Grace and peace be unto you. Uh, this is Pastor Tere Deaver. I had some things in my head that uh, I, I just need to get out. And I wanted to encourage you and exhort you in the Lord. Uh, we are in a time uh, where it is necessary to fight. Uh, we're not fighting to secure victory when we realize that biblically we fight from a place of victory. He, meaning Christ, has already secured the victory for us. And so what we're fighting for is uh, to hold on to what he's given us. Now, that sounds all good when we're strong. That sounds wonderful and we get excited when we're happy. Uh, but when we are under pressure, that's when the fight begins. And, and so I need us to realize that the same energy that we have to praise him in times of victory, in times of blessing, in times of wholeness and, and, and safety is the same energy that we need to employ uh, when we're in a battle, when we're going through the valley of the shadow of death, when it seems like we are surrounded and overwhelmed. It is that same uh, energy, that same promise uh, that we need to bring back to the forefront of our minds because it is in that time that our faith is needed the most. Our faith is not needed when we have everything. Our faith is not needed when everything is going well. Our faith is needed when it seems like all hell is on an assault against us. There is a, a saying in sports uh, that says that uh, pressure bust pipes or pressure produces diamonds. And, and it's all a matter of how you respond to the pressure. Can I tell you something? Every one of us at some point in our life will have to endure uh, varying levels of pressure. But when the pressure comes to you, how do you respond? When the pressure comes to you, regardless if you invited it, regardless if you uh, received it because of your surroundings, situations, or associations, when the pressure is presented to you, how do you respond? So again, in sports, pressure bust pipes or pressure uh, produces diamonds. But one of the things that uh, the Lord was sharing with me as I was meditating and, and on him is that uh, oftentimes he allows the pressure to push us into our purpose. Can I say that again? He allows the pressure to push us into our purpose. Why is that? Because we have a tendency to make a home in temporary places. We have a tendency to become comfortable because we don't like change. And, and so a lot of times he will allow pressure to push us into the place where he already promised us. Mm -hmm. uh, they were uh, the children of Israel were just fine in slavery in Egypt, but he had to turn up the pressure from the slave masters to get them to a point where they were willing to leave Egypt. That's right. Even in the New Testament, he already told them that I am calling you to be witnesses uh, to Jerusalem, to Judea, to Samaria and to the other ends of the parts of the world. But it was something about the blessing that had met them through the downpouring of Holy Spirit in Jerusalem that the church became stagnant. So he had to send pressure in the form of a man named Saul to push them into the places in the will that he had already designed for them to be. So when pressure comes on your life, Life, it may not be from the devil. It may be from heaven to push you uh, into your purpose. Now, it's all a matter of how you respond. If you don't recognize that pressure often comes from heaven to push us into our purpose, then what will happen is we will allow the pressure to cause us to pause. And that's that's what the devil wants to do. The devil wants to change our perspective to the pressure where we look at the pressure as an enemy uh, to our happiness, our comfort. And therefore, uh, we are going to be tempted that when we see pressure to pause. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to wait for everything to to, ste to chill, to steal, to stop in order for me to regain my momentum. But no, the presence of the pressure, it does not mean for us to stop. But when the pressure comes, be very careful that we do not fall into the trap to pause in the presence of pressure. When we pause in the presence of, pr of pressure, then what happens is we begin to put our focus on the pressure, which will make us pessimistic. 
When we become pessimistic, and now we begin to put our focus on other people and other things, and now they are the issues uh, because we chose to pause instead of being in the place where he has already promised for us that he prepared. So we've got to make sure when pressure is allowed in our life that we don't pause, that we don't allow it to make us pessimistic and allow us to not be present in the place where he prepared for us. All right, because what happens is when we're not there, then guess what? We begin to panic because our perspective is only on the pressure instead of the purpose behind the pressure to push us into our purpose. So what's the answer? The answer is when you feel the pressure and you feel the temptation to pause and your mindset begins to become pessimistic. And you, and your heart begins to panic. The goal, the object is very practical. Push. That's right. Push. Pray until something happens. Prayer will help you to realign your will to his. Prayer will allow, will, will allow you, if you give him permission, to bring your decisions under subjection to the decisions that he has. Because guess what? What he has assigned you does not change because of the presence of pressure. So we have to make sure to push. When the pressure comes, begin to pray until something happens. But that's not all. Uh, after you are praying and while you are praying, I want you to do what? Push again. What do I mean? Praise until your soul is healed. Because you have a tendency to have a spirit of entitlement and you begin to, to judge what you earned and what you deserve and, and why you feel justified or a lack of justification for the presence of the pressure in your life. And so when that happens, your soul begins to cry out and your soul begins to begins to uh, become a, 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 a torrent in your life. It begins to become a tornado and a, a, a violent wind that's swirling in your life. They keep they, they will keep you uh, to a place where you're not focused on what you need to do. And now you feel justified in your pause so that you can get your soul together. No, praise gets your soul together. So praise until your soul is healed that we might apply the pressure the way it was meant to, to be, to push us into the purpose that he meant for us the whole time. I pray that this word encourages you. I am praying for you. Don't stop. Stop listening and allowing your emotions, your circumstances to dictate to you what you should do and how you should respond. For those of them in my carpenter's church that know you got kings hiding in your cave, he is using the pressure uh, to present who they really are. And so once they are exposed, kill them that you might be free and live the life that he meant for you to live. I'm praying for you and I believe God's best for you. God bless you.